What's going on everybody? It's been two months since I had the shoulder surgery, the distal clavicle resection. So surgery where they remove part of your clavicle, the end of the clavicle, because it's rubbing against uh, that other bone, the chromium in the AC joint, no fun. So we're two months now. I put out another video earlier with the actual uh, surgery and the whole process there. So check that one out. I'll put it in the description. And two months later now, and uh, those two months have not been fun, but I am uh, I'm holding the camera with that left arm. So that's good. Get the mobility back. Look at that. Haven't had that for a long time, um, but the pain is still there. And the surgeon did say it would be four months before we'd be back to normal. Uh, but the pain is still there. And it's quite sharp when, uh, especially when I um, take my arm across my body like this, if I raise it up really high. And uh, the worst is probably the sleep. Because if I roll over, and of course I'm a side sleeper, right? Um, so if I roll over, I'll wake up. So I uh, haven't had no sleep for really two months, but. So let's go over the, the two months. So. Um, the, the first week right after the surgery, you can't do anything. You're just in pain, you're miserable, uh, probably making everyone around you miserable. So after the first week, you start your rehab. And I did four sessions with a therapist and they'll slowly throw some exercises at you, but you can do very little um, and very painful, obviously. Then after uh, two weeks there or after four sessions, I went off on my own and did my own rehab and did all sorts of exercises, uh, including the ones that they had given me. And then I added some more and I did it about every other day. Uh, sometimes took a couple of days off, depending if the day, good day or bad day, because it's fluctuating up and down. Some days are horrible, some days are okay. Um, also, I rented the uh, game ready ice machine that kind of massages and ice at the same time. It's 150 a week, and I rented it for three weeks. Um, and you know, it was nice to have, easy to use, and it hits the right spots, right? Because with the shoulder, uh, they went in all three places in my shoulder. It's not easy to uh, to ice three different angles on that shoulder. So the, uh, the game ready definitely helped. Another thing that wasn't easy is um, the kids especially couldn't really understand why daddy couldn't do a lot of stuff with them. We're a very active family. Uh, we like to be outside a lot. Um, we got all sorts of things in the garage that they can do, in the backyard. Uh, both myself and my wife, we work in the, in the coaching uh, position and uh, managing uh, sports facilities. So that's just part of our life. So what I did was I included the little ones and had some fun with them when I did my rehab. And um, uh, we got through these first two months because now I can do a lot more day-to-day -day stuff, uh, which I couldn't before. So uh, I'm sure my wife is happy that I can uh, <laughs> help a little bit more now as well, but it's definitely not easy. So uh, six weeks now, we're at six weeks. I go back for the second, uh, the second x-rays, right? The first one you take before the surgery and then now I'm back for the second set, set of x-rays. And the reason you're doing it six weeks later is that you have to hold your arm up in certain angles uh, that you can't do obviously um, after the surgery. So um, I went back and the x-ray looked fine, but he did check my mobility and the, and the joint and the range and all that. And that was not good. So he was kind of pissed off <laughs> at me. So obviously I had to change that and um, he got me on the right path. So aggressively now I do three, four times a day where I basically uh, try to uh, increase the range of that joint, which is obviously painful, but it's very necessary. Uh, so I was just too stubborn, right? You, you need to ask some help. I thought I could just do it all on my own, but you do need somebody who can uh, press the arm to get it in that position because you can't really activate your muscles. You just need to work on that joint mobility. Um, so it's not about getting it stronger the first two months it's about getting your mobility back so um that was kind of looking back i should have changed that but uh, the last two weeks i've done that aggressively now three four times a day 
like I said, and um, it's gotten a lot better. And I do have uh, some equipment at home that I can use, and I especially like the uh, T-bar row I have, where you can really activate that upper back like no other. So I'm definitely gonna use that every day, um, starting obviously with uh, no weight. <laughs> And uh, we'll see where I am at two months. But I'll upload another video in in a couple of months and, and let you guys know how it is there. The pain I'm having, it's a little bit uh, a little bit scary because the pain I'm having is, um, is very similar to what I had before the surgery. So, uh, you know, hoping that, uh, that that'll go away with time because it had, it was six months of not really uh, doing any uh, lifting uh, leading up to the surgery, right? right? Couldn't do much. So six months didn't do anything. And now here two months as well of doing absolutely nothing. And I'm freaking losing my mind. And um, with me, um, I mean, lifting is just kind of what I, how I get that adrenaline, right? I get that drug. So um, working out has always been important to me and not being able to do it now for, for that eight months total is it's freaking brutal. So I'm ready, I'm ready to get back into it. I'm sure my family's ready for me to uh, <laughs> not be so on edge all the time. Um, but they've, they've helped a lot, so, and you do need help. So I was looking back, I was definitely too stubborn in regards to that rehab. I just was like, I can just do it on my own. You know, after the two weeks and being fine, but you do need somebody who can uh, who can move your arm and uh, and slowly uh, break that scar tissue and and increase that range and mobility. So um, if you're going through this, ask somebody to help you. Don't be stubborn like me. Um, but it is hopefully going in the right direction now. So I'll do another update. I'll see you guys in another two months in regards to this, but. Uh, you guys can help me out with my medical bills here by subbing and liking. And uh, we'll get some more videos out uh, ASAP. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you all later.